Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Learn now from your learning partner. Today, we're going to learn how to pin the report to the dashboard. So please watch the complete video so that you don't miss out on your learning. In the previous video, we learned how to create a dashboard in Power BI Services. If you have not watched that video, then click on the above link. If you're new to Power BI, don't worry, we have created a complete watch list that will guide you step by step, where we explain everything you need to know. Pinning a report to a dashboard is a key feature of Power BI that allows you to bring your report into a dashboard and create an interactive, customizable view. So, let's get started. I'm going to just click on the blank area of the canvas. And now we want to save this report and you can do that from the file dropdown and just choose save. Now we're ready to create a dashboard by pinning this report to it. On the task pen going across the top of your screen, you'll notice there's an icon that says pin to a dashboard. We're going to go ahead and click that icon and it opens the pin to the dashboard box. If you have existing dashboards in here, it will list them in alphabetical order. We're going to create a new dashboard and we're going to name it test report. And then we're going to click the pen live button and it tells you pin lib page enables changes to reports to appear in the dashboard tile when the page is refreshed. So we're going to go ahead and click on pen live. And it tells us it pinned it to a dashboard. And if you catch that pop up quick enough, you can go to the dashboard from that pop up dot. If you don't catch it quick enough, you can get to the dashboard by going back to your workspace. There's a couple of ways you can get back from your report to the workspace. You can come right up here at the top in the title bar and click on your workspace or on the left side. The next to the last button will take you to your workspace. Either way is fine. When you get back to your workspace, you'll notice that. Now for the test, we still have our report in the data set, but now we also have a test dashboard and just take note of the different icons. So this one is like a greenish icon. It looks like it has a gauge inside of it. To get to the dashboard, we're going to just click on the link test, and now you're seeing your dashboard. Let's go back to our workspace where the dashboard resides. And I'd like you to go back to the report, because we were in edit mode. When we pinned it to the dashboard, we had that huge set of options going across the top. What if you want to not edit a report and just add it to a dashboard? I figured I'd show you how that process would work. So that's when you would just use more options up here and you would have the pin to a dashboard choice. We've already pinned this report to a dashboard, so we don't have to go through that step. Just wanted to show you how to find it when you're not in edit mode, in report view. And that's it. That's how you pin a report to a dashboard in Power BI Services. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. In this next video, we will discuss how to add the video or audio file to a Power BI service so stay tuned.